Now we need to create a character class. So our character is going to be able to have its current weapon, its current armor, and a character is only going to be allowed to have one piece of armor and one weapon at a given time. Our character also needs to know what its current damage amount is, as well as its health, so that if our character's health goes below zero, we know that we lost our game. So let's go ahead and go to File, New File, and we can go to iOS, Cocoa Touch, Objective-C Class, and go to Next. And we can go to type in CC character. And I can go ahead and make this a subclass of NS object. And I can press next. And I'm going to make sure that I have targets, pirate adventure selected. And I can press create. And now we have our character class. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to give the ability for our character to have both a weapon and armor. Now, generally, we've been importing into our .m file because we've only really needed to create objects um, locally inside of a method we would create an instance of an object and we were good to go. However, when our property is of type or of class, a class that we've created, we have to import that into our header file. So let's make sure we go to cc character.h and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import my armor class, we can do cc armor.h and now I'm going to do at property strong non-atomic and we'll call this cc armor and we're just going to do armor. So now our character, when we create instances of our character, we can set a property of our character instance or object to be equal to an armor object. So this will allow our character to have an armor. It's important that we import it in our header file since the property class that we created was of CC armor. And if I import it to my .m file, if I remove this and import it into my .m file instead, we would get an error in cc.h uh, CC and it would say unknown type name armor. So my header file isn't aware of the CC armor class, only my .m file is. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to remove this from the .m, we'll move this back to the .h, and I'm also going to go ahead and import cc weapon.h, and we can do at property strong non atomic, and we can do cc weapon weapon. Our character now has the ability to have a weapon, but only one weapon. The final two properties we need to add are the damage for our character and the health for our character. So we're going to do at property non-atomic int and we'll say damage. We do at property non-atomic int uh, health. And now we've properly set up our character class. So our character again can have one armor, one weapon, it has a current damage amount, and it also has a current health stat uh, that we'll be able to set once we create our character object.